What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be doing a team building guide for Final Boss Merlin. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking already, um, you know, Darkskin, who do I build, who do I build, what do I do? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over characters that you can use or build for Final Boss Merlin. Keep in mind, I do have a free-to-play team, or free-to-play, like, well, it's actually super free-to-play. For any of you that just might be free-to-play and not have these units, but... I'm, I'm going to be like honest, 95% of you guys should have most of these teams, right? So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, we have Gother. Now, Gother is going to be amazing for this raid simply because of his rank up. His rank up is, a, is going to be amazing. Ranking up yourself, ranking up your teammates. Um, it's just going to be very, very useful when it comes to this raid. And the reason why is because Gother, along with Arthur, is just a very big powerhouse. Because Arthur's buff gives you um, increases your base stats, attack, HP, and defense uh, to yourself or to everyone. And then at rank 3, it's 30% and gives debuff immunity. Now, keep in mind, Merlin is going to be debuffing you quite a lot. Between her ult that attack seals, between her attack downing you and taking away a lot of your stats. To, like, she's just going to be debuffing you quite a lot. So, um, this is going to be keeping all of that away from you. On top of, if you can, um, like, boost chain. Like, say you get, like, one of, one of these. And then you get another one before that one runs out. And then get another one before that one runs out. You're going to be sitting really, really well um, as far as Final Boss Merlin. So, um, the main two units that are going to be on every single team, except for the free-to-play team, is going to be Gother and Arthur. These two are just super good for this raid, right? These two are just amazing when it comes to it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Arthur is an amazing unit. I think everyone should have built him by now. Uh, my Arthur is 6'6". He's practically free because um, he's in the gold coin shop, number one. Number two, he's on every single banner in the game. Everyone should have Arthur. Like, there, there's no excuse. He literally costs 20 coins whenever he's discounted. Um, so there's that. Then um, Gother is the first coin shop unit ever you should have got. So between Gother and Arthur, it's practically free to play already. Because, you know... You should have got these units. Now, moving into units that you um, put with these units, etc. Uh, number one um, is Red Escanor, right? Red Escanor is going to be doing insane. If you if you get a level three card, right? This level three card with a level one buff from Arthur, Escanor almost um, hits Merlin for fifty percent of her HP. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it's 50%, depending on how good your gear is. But yeah, hits her for 50% of her HP with a level 3 card, which you can easily get from Gother, into a level 1 Arthur buff. 20%. Now, if you get, I'm, I'm telling you now, if you get a level 3 Arthur buff into a level 3 Escanor card, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, like, you're going to be doing dumb damage. Keep in mind... Uh, Merlin does take away buff your buffs like turn one um, Actually, I think she takes away buffs on her turn or something um, So if you're going to buff It's better for you to buff and then attack you don't want to buff and then um, You know just wait now For the debuff immunity. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you might you, sh you should be fine, but um Yeah, like she she does take away buffs. She takes away. She takes away Escanor's um passive buff too which kind of sucks but yeah so like make sure if you're buffing you're like you're buffing on the same turn you attack keep that in mind um Escanor also can take away ult gauge which is really good because obviously we don't want Merlin ulting um I mean when she ults she does not one shot on the first phase but uh you you definitely 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 want to um you know be having all roll back i'm pretty sure she has not um i'm pretty sure she has not one shot on the second phase not like final boss king final boss king if he ults on the second phase you just dead so like but then again elaine was good for that raid and merlin but anyway so yeah now if you now i know not everybody's gonna have red escanor i know not everybody's gonna summon or is able to summon so i got a lot of people that you can put in place for him because i know y'all need it right i got y'all covered um 
Green Escanor is a good unit to do good damage as well. He does a lot of single target damage. Um, and his passive is really, really good because even if he gets debuffed, if you get your max ult gauge, he's going to take all of those debuffs off. Granted, um, there's a train outside. So if, if you hear it, that's just what it is. Um, but anyways, his passive is really good from take, for taking away the um, debuffs. But uh, keep in mind, once he has his ult, Arthur buffs do not apply to him. So, you know, there's that. Keep that in mind. So, I mean, Escanor is a good option to take. I know a lot of people have Escanor compared to summoning for Red Escanor. Uh, for the fourth slot, you, you're probably just going to take Elizabeth, right? She's going to be giving you a lot of healing, which is going to be really good for you. Now, um, I mean, if you really don't think you need Elizabeth or you're not dying near as much... You can take Jericho. Jericho is going to give you 10% uh, attack related stats um, to red units. You can also take Twigo if you think you just need more HP entirely. So those are options in the fourth slot as well. Um, but moving on to other units. Um, a really good team for this is Gother, Arthur, Red Helbrum. Now, uh, Red Helbrum does the most damage out of any unit in this list base now obviously red escanor does more damage after he's buffed but if we're talking about escanor not being buffed helbrum does the most damage on this list um so helbrum is a very good option to take to this raid he has ult depletion which is really good and um some people don't even know this but helbrum's petrify card does more damage than his first card on rank one so at rank one, this does 200%. At rank two, this does 120. So um, yeah, you could definitely, definitely, definitely take Red Helbrum and his passives just gonna be buffing him quite a lot. On top of his ult gate, I mean his ult doing good damage, um, giving him some life still back because it's AoE as well. But yeah, so Helbrum is a very good option when it comes to team building. If you guys need options, if you guys don't have Red Escanor or can't take Green Escanor, etc. Um, you can also take Red Bond right red bond has weak point um he also can decrease skill ranks and he can take away ult gauge with that as well um really really nice then obviously his ultimate extorts uh this this is really good his passive fills the ultimate move gauge by one orb at the start of the next turn if the hero takes damage so um she also takes away ult gauge quite a lot she attacks like five times or something on the first turn. She it's, it, she be wilding. So, I mean, this is just going to be nice for getting your ult if she only hits him like one time type deal or something like that. But, you know. Uh, anyway, so now that we've got that out of the way, I do want to talk about the free-to-play-ish team, which um, consists of Hauser number one. Hauser, practically free unit, like I said. Um... He's on every single banner in the game. He is in the coin shop, all the gold coin shop, you know, every, every other week or whatever for 20 coins. He's practically free. Um, you can use him. He's going to be boosting uh, human stats by 8%, which all the free-to-play units are pretty much humans. Um, you know, Hauser's right here. Um, you can also use, Gre I mean, Red Jericho, who um, 130, 195, 325, which has bleed, whatever. Then she has this attack card, which does double damage to buffed enemies, which Merlin is going to be um, using perfect cube, so that she's going to be doing a lot of good damage with this card. Uh, and then her ultimate does, you know, whatever damage, 455, bleed. Um, but yeah, her passive is really good with this. You can run Twigo in the four. So um, with this team, you'd run Hauser. You'd run um, Red Elizabeth for the healing right here and then right here. And then you'd run... Uh, Jericho and then you run Twigo on the four, but that's like completely free to play which almost no one should have to do this team because every single person Should have Arthur and Gother especially built because Arthur's an amazing unit and Gother is one of the best units in the game. So um You definitely 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 should I keep saying should because I know there's gonna be some people that don't but you should um have Gother and Arthur built. So yeah, um, the best team for this is probably going to be Gother, Arthur, 
Red Escanor, Elizabeth. Um, the second best team is probably going to be Gother Arthur, Helbrum, Elizabeth, right? Which I think I'm pretty sure Gother Arthur, Helbrum, Elizabeth is the fastest team on the compared to the other ones. I'm pretty sure. Now, now that's nah, 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 nah. Escanor is definitely faster if you get the the boosts into the attacks. But Helbrum is the second fastest. But um, yeah. So go to Arthur Red Escanor, then go to Arthur Helbrum, and after that's kind of just whatever. I'm probably gonna be using go well, not even probably. I'm gonna be using go to Arthur Escanor, obviously. But um, if I want to use go to Arthur Helbrum, I can because my Helbrum is you know maxed out. But um, I mean yeah. So like, there's some free to play options for you guys because I know a lot of you guys may not have every unit built. I'm not building Red Bond at all. I mean, my Hauser's built, Jericho's built, Twigo's built, um, and my Elizabeth. I'm going to be running Gother Arthur, Red Escanor, and then I'll probably make a video on... Go I'll, I'll probably make a video on all of these teams, but the units I'm going to be using are probably going to be Red Escanor or Helbrum. So, um, anyways, that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.